When you use your iPad occasionally, you may find yourself prone to forgetting your screen passcode. This can cause your iPad to show iPad unavailable if the wrong passcode is entered multiple times. In this case, you will be unable to use your iPad. How to fix this problem? Hey guys, welcome to the Tenorshare channel. In this video, I will show you how to fix your iPad unavailable without iTunes and passcode. In the event that the iPad is unavailable, it will be necessary for you to reset your device and erase all its contents to remove the forgotten passcode from the device. So, hopefully, you were in the habit of backing up your device data regularly before, which will retain most of the data in your device. You can also restore data back to your device through backups, after you've wiped your device's entire contents. Apple has also provided some official methods to help you with iPad unavailable issues. Then I will show three solutions to iPad unavailable. The first option is to reset your iPad using the forgot password option, and this process does not require iTunes or a computer. The second option is to reset iPad unavailability, which requires the use of Tenorshare for you, key to fix your iPad unavailability, and does not require the iPad to be connected to the network and signed in to Apple ID. The third option is to use Find My to wipe iPad unavailability issues, which requires a computer or another device to remotely wipe iPad content. But this option requires your iPad to have the Find My iPad feature enabled. First, let's try the first option. Reset iPad to resolve iPad unavailable. This option requires your device to meet three requirements. The first one is that the iPad has been updated to iPadOS 15.2 or later. The second one is that the iPad is connected to a WLAN network. The third one is that the iPad has an Apple ID account signed in. When your device meets these three requirements, you can try entering the wrong passcode multiple times and your device will say iPad is unavailable. The forgot password option will be displayed on the lower right side of the iPad with iPadOS 17 installed. iPads with iPadOS 15 or 16 need to try the wrong passcode again. When the message try again after one hour appears on the iPad screen, the option to erase the iPad will appear below. You need to tap on this option. Your iPad will show a prompt for the iPad reset or erase all content. If you're sure you want to continue, then you need to click Start iPad Reset or Erase iPad. Then you need to log out of your Apple ID. Enter your Apple ID password. Tap Done and Erase iPad. Your iPad will turn off and then an iPad reset will begin. This process may take about 10 minutes depending on the size of the file data on your iPad. Wait for the reset to complete and your iPad will be as good as new. When you see the hello screen, it means your iPad reset is complete. Then you need to do the iPad setup. I will show you the complete process to help you set up your iPad. Set your preferred language and region. Adjust the zoom of the interface. Then connect the WLAN network. Wait for the iPad to finish activation. Then tap continue. You can set up your Face ID or Touch ID and create an iPad passcode. On the transferred screen, you can perform an iPad recovery if you have a previous backup. You can do data recovery via iCloud Backup or Mac and PC. Then you can choose to sign in to Apple ID. After completing the subsequent settings, so your iPad is ready to use, Okay, that solves the iPad unavailability problem. I hope this method can solve your trouble. If your iPad doesn't show the option to erase iPad or forget password, then you should try the next method. It can solve your iPad unavailable problem safely and simply and without using iTunes. Okay, let's try Tenorshare for you, Key. It can help you solve the situation of being locked by forgetting the password of your device and iPhone or iPad unavailable issues. Now let's unlock the iPad. You can run Tenorshare 4U key on Windows PC or Mac. The procedure is the same for both. Select Unlock iOS Screen Features and click Next. 
then you need to connect the unavailable iPad to your computer. Follow the software instructions to put the iPad into recovery mode. My iPad doesn't have a home button, so I need to press the volume up and down buttons. Then press and hold the power button. It will take about 20 seconds for your iPad to turn off and then reboot to turn on recovery mode. For you, key will detect your iPad and provide the latest iPados firmware adapted for iPad. You can change the firmware download path. Then you need to click on the download option. Wait for the firmware download to complete. This process depends on your computer's internet speed. Please be patient for a few minutes. After the firmware download is complete, you need to click on Start Removal. This will start resetting your iPad to erase the passcode. The process will last for about 10 minutes and your iPad will erase all content and settings. Okay, your iPad reset is complete and the screen lock passcode has been removed. Just complete your iPad settings next, as in method one. So next we will start trying the third option to reset your iPad using the Find My feature. Using this option requires your device to meet two requirements. The first is that your iPad needs to have the Find My iPad feature enabled before it becomes unavailable. The second requirement is that your iPad is currently connected to a double ULAN network. If these two requirements are met, you can perform the next steps on your computer or another Apple device. I'm going to demonstrate this here mainly on my iPhone device. Open Find My on your iPhone. Then you need to select the device option. In the list of devices, you need to find the unavailable iPad. You need to swipe down to see the option to wipe this device. Then you can reset your iPad with this option. Follow the process for iPad wiping. You need to enter your Apple ID password for verification. Tap Erase will start resetting the iPad. You may have to wait for some time before the iPad goes black and starts resetting. The reset process will last for a few minutes, so you need to be patient. Okay, the iPad reset is complete. Now you need to follow the on-screen process to set up your iPad and restore iPad data from backup. Okay, those are the three solutions to fix iPad unavailability. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if the solutions in this video help you. If you have any other questions about iPhone or iPad passcode, please write them in the comments. Thanks for watching and let's see you in the next video.